The information contained in this presentation is intended for general informational purposes only. The presentation is not a substitute for a review of the applicable government regulations, codes, OSHA standards, or other regulations, and should not be construed as legal advice or opinion. Specific questions should be referred to the proper regulatory authorities, electrical engineer, licensed electrician, or attorney. While this course is geared towards residential electricity, we will cover some brief information on commercial and industrial voltages to call your attention to some of the differences. It is important to understand that it is very different from residential electricity. On three phase, four wire Y connected, you can see that an entire cycle of the voltage wave, starting at zero, going all the way positive, then back through zero, then all the way negative and back to zero again, is still taking 1 60th of a second for each phase of the three phases. 208 volts is the voltage between two phases of a Y-connected circuit. That is 120 volts from neutral to any single phase. Warning! It may be easy to confuse 208 volts with 240 volt residential electricity given our discussion in a previous chapter regarding the plus and minus voltage variations but that is not the case at all. 480 volts is the voltage between two phases of three phase Y connected circuit that is 277 volts from neutral to any single phase. Sometimes a little education can make one more careless than before as someone feels more comfortable in their knowledge. There is a cardinal firearm safety rule that says, treat every firearm as if it is loaded. That can be applied to working with electricity Treat all electrical as if it is energized. By making this assumption, you will reduce your chances of an unwelcome surprise. If you make a mistake in plumbing, you might make someone unhappy. Make a mistake in air conditioning, and someone might be uncomfortable. But a mistake with electricity, and you could injure or kill yourself or others. I realize that probably most of you watching this have already been shocked by electricity and obviously have lived to tell about it. Unfortunately, the more that occurs, the more it tends to lower our defenses. Please never take safety for granted and always treat electricity with the respect it deserves. Your life and the life of others may depend on it.